And now moving on, the position of county women representative is said to be scrapped if Kenyans adopt the proposals of the Building Bridges report. Now the report presented to President Uru Kenyatta and ODM leader Raila Odinga Wednesday also recommends each county to be electing a male and a female senator, making a Senate of 94 members. Kevin Oshiro with more details. The Building Bridges Initiative report has proposed a raft of changes in the legislature aimed at enhancing inclusivity and gender parity while not adding extra cost to the taxpayer. If the BBI is adopted, the 47 positions of county woman representative and 12 nominated members of National Assembly will be scrapped and replaced with 47 elected women senators in the Senate. A member of National Assembly will be eligible to be appointed Prime Minister if he belongs to the majority party. Further, the report proposes reintroduction of the position of leader of opposition in the National Assembly. The leader of opposition shall be the person who receives second greatest number of votes in the presidential election and whose political party has more than 25% of all members of National Assembly. Cabinet ministers will also sit in National Assembly. To enhance service delivery at the judiciary, the BBI report seeks establishment of Office of Judiciary Ombudsman, who will be reporting on conduct of judicial officers to the Judicial Service Commission. The report also seeks to compel judiciary to dispense speedily with corruption-related cases. The report further seeks to amend the Health Act to establish the Health Services Commission. The Commission shall make recommendations to the national government on national policies for management of healthcare workers, monitor implementation of national policies for management of healthcare workers by county governments, and recommend appropriate action. It further seeks to bring to bear the County Wars Development Funds 2020, which will provide a legal framework for the operationalization of War Development Fund intended to be introduced through an amendment to the Constitution. The report is also proposing the Elections Laws Amendment Bill 2020 to amend various elections-related laws to deliver an electoral system that is transparent, accountable, and democratic and promotes the will of the people. The bill contains amendments to the following statutes. The Elections Act 2011, which limits registration of voters at least 120 days to the election to afford adequate time for IBC to audit the register. The Political Parties Act 2011, which obligates every political party to establish internal dispute resolution committee. The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission 2011, which obligates the commission to publish information relating to electoral processes, the Election Campaign Financing Act 2013, and the Elections Offenses Act 2016 that prohibits harassments during campaigns. Kevin Washira, Channel One News.